Assalamu alaikum everyone from Sarah Hamdani from Zoology Department of JT Art Science and Commerce College from Malibu. In this video we will be studying about sex linked inheritance in human. We have already seen what is inheritance. Inheritance is transfer of characters or genetic information from parents to their offspring or one generation to next generation. Similarly sex inheritance is the transfer of sex linked characters from parents to their offspring. Now what is sex linked characters? Sex linked characters are the characters present in sex chromosomes. We know that, we know that in humans there is 23 pairs of chromosomes out of which 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair is of sex chromosomes. X chromosome and Y chromosome. There are two types. Okay. So genes which are present in these sex chromosomes are called sex linked inheritance. From these gene, from these chromosomes, the genes which are transferred, the genes and characters which are transferred to the next generation is called sex-linked inheritance. As I said, there are two two sex chromosomes. One is X chromosome and another one is Y chromosomes. So genes located on X chromosomes are called as X-linked genes, and that inheritance is called X-linked inheritance. And similarly, the genes located on Y chromosomes are called as holandric gene. Holandric. Holandric is made from holos and andros. Holos means whole, andros means related to male because Y chromosome is only present in males, hence it is called holandric gene. Now, transmission of such genes which are present on sex chromosomes from one generation to the next generation through these chromosomes is called as sex linked inheritance. Okay. Now, how many types of sex linked inheritance are there? There are three types. One is X-linked inheritance. Another one is Y-linked inheritance. The next one is XY-linked inheritance. We will see them one by one. So first, starting with X-linked inheritance. What is X-linked genes? The genes present in X chromosomes. So these genes present on X chromosomes with their alleles absent on Y chromosomes are called as X-linked X -linked genes means these genes should only be present on X chromosome and allelic form should be absent definitely from Y chromosome. Okay, this is called X-linked inheritance. If it is present, it will be XY. Means it is if it is present on uh, Y chromosome also, it will be XY. So for uh, X-linked inheritance, its allele or gene should be absent from Y chromosome. The character char controlled by these genes are called X-linked characters and the inheritance pattern is called X-linked inheritance. It includes color blindness, hemophilia, eye color in drosophila, etc. Okay. Now there are two types of X-linked inheritance. We will see one by one. First one is X-linked dominant and ne next will be X-linked recessive inheritance. So we will start with X-linked dominant inheritance. What is dominant? The one which gets expressed. Okay. So for X-linked dominant inheritance, uh, we can say when a single copy of mutated gene is enough to cause disease in both males and females is called sex-linked dominant inheritance. It means only one gene is enough for occurring uh, of the disease means that will be dominant. If it is dominant, it will, re it will suppress the remaining uh, genes present in the chromosome uh, and disease will occur. Okay, this is how sex X link in dominant inheritance works. In some conditions, the absence of functional gene result in death of affected males. Okay, now how uh, what are the characteristics of X link dominant inheritance? First one is from affected males, it it is transferred to all his daughters but to no sons. Okay means male will transfer disease to his daughters not to his sons this is characteristic of x-linked dominant inheritance now we will see how it is possible see male have two chromosomes one x chromosome and y chromosomes and we are seeing x-linked dominant disease so if it he is suffering from x-linked dominant disease his x chromosome is affected and while transferring the sex chromosomes to his offspring, he will transfer X chromosome to his daughters and Y chromosome to his sons. Okay, So, transferring the diseased chromosome to his daughter, which is dominant, will definitely cause disease because diseased X chromosome will be transferred to his daughters and another X chromosome which the, the daughter will receive from the mother will be normal. But this disease being dominant or uh, will make every of his daughter affected and sons being normal why because 
the sons receive y chromosome from male and x chromosome from female means uh, father will give them y chromosome and mother will give them x chromosome hence y chromosome is not affected in male hence it will be normal uh, and if mother is normal the sons will be normal too okay this is how affected male transfer this trait transfer this trait only to his daughters but to no sons okay now second one is homozygous affected female transmit trait to all his children all her children regardless of sex homozygous affected means female having two x chromosomes both getting affected is called homozygous affected will have all of her children uh, deceased regardless of sex how it is possible because definitely she will transfer her x chromosome to her daughters as well as uh, to her sons in this way this disease being dominant will make the all the all of her children deceased no matter which sex they have okay the last one is in case of heterozygous affected female only 50% of her children out of both sexes will be having chance of getting affected see in case of heterozygous affected female heterozygous means out of two x chromosomes only one x chromosome is affected and another one is normal but disease being dominant will occur on that female so while transferring these disease gene to his uh, pro to her progeny that female will will either transmit the diseased one or the normal one it depends uh, definitely on uh, probability it is completely wrong, random okay so if it is transfer uh, it, the transfer gene is uh, a diseased x chromosome then it will be having diseased children and if it is normal one then then she will be having normal children hence we call it she has 50% chance of having both sexes affected regardless of sex here also okay this is all the characteristic of dominant inheritance now we will see x linked recessive inheritance which is another type of x linked disease okay so what happens in dominant disease only one gene is required for occurring of disease but in recessive disease both the care both the genes should be affected by the disease then also then only disease will occur at the, otherwise it will not occur okay so the condition in which copies of genes of both x chromosomes needs to be mutated for occurrence of disease in female it called it is called as x linked recessive disease why in females because females carry both uh, both the sex chromosomes and in the form of x chromosomes in male uh, only one mutation will be enough one g one uh, x chromosome is present hence uh, if it is affected uh, this is will occur okay but in female both the x chromosome should be mutated or should be affected by the disease then only disease will occur this is all about this is called x linked recessive inheritance now we will see what are the characteristics of x linked recessive inheritance so first is males are affected more frequently than females it is very obvious because for occurring of disease in female both the x copies should be diseased but in males only one diseased copy will cause disease okay so that's why males are affected more frequently than females next one is females are carriers of disease they also transfer the trait to several generation what is carrier carrier is the condition on occurring only in females where out of two x chromosomes if x one x chromosome in recessive inheritance is affected in this condition female will not be diseased but she will be the carrier of diseased means we can say the diseased allele is present in uh, in that female but it is not uh, not being it is it being recessive does not expresses itself but it is present uh, if it is transferred to uh, her uh, her next generation and another uh, disease will also comes this will be responsible for occurrence of disease that's why we call it as carrier and she can transfer the trait to several generation okay next one is affected male parent cannot transmit the trait to his sons definitely because sons will receive y chromosome from his uh, his father not x chromosomes hence hence even if the male is affected he cannot transfer x linked recessive inheritance to his sons but it could be transferred to his daughters but uh, here also if uh, the daughters will receive that deceased copy from her mother also then only they will be affected otherwise otherwise these daughters will be carrier for that disease okay 
he, the, this is all about X-linked recessive inheritance. I hope it is clear. Um, in next video, we will see what is Y-linked inheritance and Y-linked, X-Y-linked inheritance. Thank you.